associate for SolidWorx Electrical at Conceptia Connect. Today I am going to showcase you how to create custom SolidWorx Electrical routing component and how to add the same into design library and how to use the same in uh, routing assembly. Routing is an application included in SolidWorx Premium that helps automate different types of routes including electrical included in SolidWorx is an extensive library of intelligent components you can drag and drop into your route. This default library is called the design library. If you have the SolidWorks routing add-in, you can add intelligent custom components to the library. You can also create custom uh, components that have routing information which automatically route, start the route just like once already included in the design library. First, open up the connector part in its own window that already has geometry in it and then go to the routing component wizard. This is audio video jack. Now, how to open routing component wizard? Go to tools, routing, routing tools, routing library manager. Here we will get the routing component wizard. The routing component wizard included in the routing library manager can be used to add intelligence to components and provides all the steps needed to the mandatory and optional routing features. In this video, we will set up an electrical connector. Make sure to open up the connector model you want to work on before you select the routing manager. Select the type of route, electrical, and then the type of component, that is connector. So you will see the generic preview of connector, but it is not associated to the connector you are working with. Select the next. Now, how to add the connection point? All connectors need at least one connection point or C point. Select the add button to create the mandatory C point. The wizard will minimize and will then switch back to the SOLIDWORKS graphic area. This will allow for you to select a plane or face and sketch point to locate the connection point. Set the route type and subtype. Route type I will select electrical and subtype I will select harness. And you can see here the direction of uh, route. So I will click reverse direction. So once I click you can see the connection direction reversed. The stub length is how for the straight portion of the wire goes out the back of the connector. So I will select this 15 mm. So nominal diameter I will select so 5 mm and the additional internal wire I will keep 10 mm. Then I will select OK. After you complete each step, the routing component wizard reopens to guide you through the next step. Optionally, after creating the first mandatory C point, you can add more. So you will see a red, green, blue legend color coding what has been added, what is still needed and what is optional. Green steps are required and have been satisfied. Red is still not to be set up. Blue are optional. So select next. Now we are in mate reference. This step is optional, but when it comes to connector, you want at least one mate reference. So reference name, I will select default and I will just add. I'll click a button add. So once I click automatically, the wizard component wizard window will minimize. Then the system will allow you to select the mate points. So the primary reference entity, I will select this as edge. Mate reference automatically applies mates when dragging component into the assembly. You can add the mate reference before you see the wizard or you can put them in using the routing component wizard. If the end of the connector has circular geometry, select one of the circular edge. And mate, you can keep it, keep it as default and the align you can select any alignment then click ok
we can observe made description primary reference is present so select next and go to directly save component to library make sure the part file is saved properly in the library name the component so i will click finish system will ask do you want to save yes select finish once you see the save in successful message you can close the wizard and the routing library manager now let us test out our newly created routing connector part you can observe in routing library what we have created just now that ab jack is available so just drag and drop to the assembly so you can observe once you drop the component system will allow you to select whether it is a video or audio left or right so i'll select video once i click okay you can observe the automatically system will generate the route When you drag the newly customized connector from the design library, it will snap into place using the made references and start a new electrical route. So now let us see the benefits of creating custom library component. You can automate your routes easily and quickly by using custom created library parts, which is having intelligence like made reference and routing functionalities. Reduce design time. By creating custom parts library, you can easily and quickly drag and drop into design and create the route. Improve time to market. By, by using custom created library parts, you can save the time of design and you can do planning and production activity early. Consistent assembly. Including electrical custom parts from SolidWorks library enables accuracy in design and visualization of overall product helping to ensure consistent in assembly unit to unit. Streamline development, faster design with accurate custom part and shorter time to market all add up to re reduce cost throughout the product life cycle. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. For more SOLIDWORKS related support videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel Conceptual Connected.